Ludwig van Beethoven, uh, George Frederick Handel. Now, I came across these names. I want to give credit now today to my late father. Now, growing up, we had this record player and all of that, and he had packs of these classical albums. So I grew up listening to music like this, and it actually helped me very much. I'm a very intelligent man, and uh, I would want to give credit to a lot to my musical upbringing. Now, I have uh, two very interesting people in the house. I have Mr. High Saint Anime on one side, who is the project director of uh, Campus Classicals, of course, managed by Classical Showcase Limited. And uh, I also have uh, a maestro of inestimable uh, <laughs> value, someone who is a musician extraordinaire. Well, you know him as the <laughs> Uncle Ben. You know, Uncle I, ben. I, I want to say, I want to say, I, I want to say the principal of the school of hard knocks or something. <laughs> <laughs> but then we've got um, Benedict Ogbewe in the house. Hey. You know, I like, you know, I like you the that we listen to classical music growing up. Yeah, it, it's, amazing. it's lot, amazing. No, it's not. I, I did a lot of it. A lot, not just. I didn't just listen to it passively. Welcome Passive to the League listening. of Extraordinary Intelligent Men. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's, that's what it is. Seriously. That's just oh. what it is. Seriously. It's great to you Look, it's, it's for matured minds. But we it don't is. have to blow our it's, trumpets it's, when we listen to classical music. Oh, really? Do what exactly do you listen to? I listen to Mozart. I listen to Handel oh, Mozart. I listen sorry. to a lot of classical music. Nice. So. And, I'm sure it, and I'm sure it has impacted on you. Of course it has, man. It's spirit lifting. That's all like when it comes to class. Although some classical music too they just bring you it, it's like meditation some I kind agree. of meditation you look into your soul but anyway it's not about me it's about the both of you yeah. and the classical music for the, the competition for the universities so my first question uncle ben what role are you playing it's to make sure that everybody else who is on this wonderful show behave themselves the truth is they get to eventually learn the chromatics. They get to sing in harmony. Okay. That was what I was brought up with. Proper harmonies and singing with a proper group. Mm. If you don't know it, don't show up. <laughs> that is my own. Okay, let's, let's look at, let's, I want to, just before we, we, we start talking about classical showcase, let's um, juxtapose classical music and pop body book. Now, I think <laughs> I always say, I always, I always feel that um, demand dictates supply. You know, that's yeah. what personally I, I feel, and that's what one of the laws of economic states. But then, uh, there is, you know, we, we always have, as much as people come up and say, ah, this is not real music and all of that, we still find a way to groove to Bobo Dipo. Now, classical music, how is the market out there for classical music as compared to Bakurumos and all of that? What's the market like? The marketable value of classical music is basically for matured minds and what i have discovered over the years listening to this is that you find all these musicians in in religious organizations mm -hmm. that is why our music out there in the churches are absolutely brilliant um they've also you know engaged all these directors in the churches in their music you will find out that those who didn't you know uh, educate themselves basically musically uh, don't last. Those who are still in the industry, in the business, are those who have employed or at some point been able to go in as apprentices to, to this course. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can mix both, but it depends on also what you're, what, you're, what you're listening to. And the most important thing, apart from the fact that the music is good, is that you must have lyrical content. Content, lyrical content. If, if content. you don't, it will never hmm. be able to Mr. I said, you've been so quiet now. I think it, <laughs> I'm thinking that your, your role is just to be very quiet and make, be making yeah. sure that Uncle Ben is the one talking. Okay. Let's talk about the project talk. director yeah. of, uh, of uh, Campus Classicals. What inspired the idea to go into cl Campus Classicals? Why the campuses? Yeah, li like you uh, earlier stated with the Popo Dipo and all of that, <laughs> we, we, we have noticed the gap. We noticed a serious gap between the very... Um, um, serious music which has to come with a lot of concentration, a lot of um, a tactical work in, in producing such kind of classical music. We also discover that there is no stage for classical music. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who love classical music in mm -hmm. this country. A lot of people, but unfortunately there appears to be no stage for them. And we thought that introducing campus classicals is the beginning of giving a voice, giving a stage, giving fame, giving attention to lovers of classical music and practitioners 
of classical music. Okay. And so that's where the inspiration came from. Right. That entertainment is, the quest for entertainment is growing. Mm -hmm. And we need to ensure that all aspects of entertainment is actually tapped into. And so if classical music as it is, is an area that can provide entertainment, then we should cash into it. Nigeria cannot be left behind. Okay, now you talked about the uh, practitioners and the lovers of classical music. It's obvious that the lovers outweigh the practitioners. Now, taking this class, um, the competition to schools, the younger ones, having um, people, students actually participate in this competition, what are you looking out for? Are you expecting students that may have had the um, background in classical music or anybody that has the talent can come forth and try out? You know, we need to be clear about this. We have decided to begin from the schools because we understand that classical music forms the basic music education. Mm -hmm. And so those who are in the universities talking about students from the department of music, that is their basic study. Okay. That is their grooming point. Okay. And so we can't talk about classical music in the context that we're coming from without utilizing the people who have just, not just practicing it for practicing's sake, but going through the basic rudiments, through education, understanding it both theory and practical. Okay. And so that's why we have decided that in creating a stage for classical music, we must begin from the basis. Uh, something just came to mind when yeah. you mentioned um, musical department of schools. Yes. Most musical departments in some schools, they merged with um, creative arts mm -hmm. and theater arts. Now, um, these departments are not really like into classical music. They diversify, they talk about the history of music. So the students don't really have the background of classical music. They may have the knowledge, but not the experience. Now, how would you handle that in other schools that don't delve deep into classical music? Well, if we go to the creative arts, like you mentioned, there's usually a bias. Uh, would you like to go into specifics? Would you like to do classical music itself? Would you like to go into the creatives? It depends. Would you like to do composition mm -hmm. uh, for for a student who really wants to know everything? You you grasp that opportunity. I was privileged to have that to buttress the answers to your questions. Uh, apart from the fact that we're going to be having these schools present classical music, we we'll also we'll, we also want them to have an opportunity to compose their own songs it doesn't depend it depends on how it goes the fact is we just want to hear it in a three-part harmony hmm. I mean, we want to hear how interesting you can be as composers as composers I mean, it's not enough for our big artists to be the writers to be the producers we need to spread this wealth i mean it can just be at the top of the food chain hmm. so basically campus classicals uh, uh, through campus um, showcase are you know opening expanding the frontiers for these opportunities to be created to be created here okay. we are it's the main maiden edition and we hope it's going to be absolutely interesting all right the phone lines are open you can call in and talk to any of them the numbers are scrolling across your screen but then now let's talk about the format of the competition what does it take to register for the competition and what's the format like the for now because this is a maiden event um, event mm -hmm. We, we have actually looked at premier universities in the country, also considering the universities that has music department and theater arts, just like you said earlier, some music units are built into theater arts. Mm -hmm. So we have gone around to invite these schools about 12 schools in this addiction cut across the six geopolitical zones of this country. And so the schools are currently preparing. But all are going to converge on the um, um, University of Lagos main auditorium. That is where the event is going to take place. Wow. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the whole, it's a one week, it's a week long event. Each of the categories are going to be on each day of the event. We have also introduced a, a grand final within the event. In a case where, at the end of the, the presentation of all the performances in each of the categories, we will declare results 
on the fifth day for first second of each categories. Oh. Then we move into What's the grand the final. The okay, the, the categories we have the instrumental music, mm -hmm. we have the choral music, mm -hmm. we have operatic music, and we also have the pop, the, the popular. Nigerian music. Nigerian music. Oh, Bukodiko. Bukodiko. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it might not. Classical Bukodiko. Yeah, yeah. We have that also. Okay. And so we declare results in each of these categories, pick the best two schools, then we move to the grand final. Okay. And that grand final, where we're going to have the closing ceremony and all the paparazzi that goes with the event, then at the end of the day, we declare results. But result is going to be determined by aggregate score. Okay. So now the, the, from there, we we'll get the first, the winner, overall winner, the second, the third, and then um, that's where we're going to end it. Every other person is believed to be fourth position. What are the wow. judges? What's the plan for judging? Is okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the <laughs> judging, um, the, the, the criteria and all of that. What, what are, are you the judges and what? Well, we're looking at professors in our various institutes of learning to, uh, be, the judges. to be judges. Wow. Uh, people like us are not worthy. To, wow. to don't, judge don't such there. competitions wow. Wow. Um, because um, they were the ones they're basically the inventors of these ideas mm. we just harnessed it and want to give the younger ones the chance to come showcase themselves mm. it's not enough for us to be king makers we need to see the products of our hard work and classical showcase limited have afforded that opportunity to everyone who is a citizen of this great nation, Nigeria, come forth. It doesn't matter what kind of music you sing. Uh, your school is the platform you need, and we give you the stage. Mm, we give you the stage. Are. Okay, let's, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make a case for classical music. Very strong case here. And it's about uh, musical scores for movies. Now, I found out that I was, I was watching some makings of some um, Hollywood movies and I found out that when you want to score a movie, you have an orchestra, they sit down and they're watching the movie. And while they're watching the movie, they start playing. You know, they score the movie. I don't know this. But then you come to Nollywood here yeah, and then I was watching, I'm not actually trying to yab anybody, but I was watching this <laughs> movie. And Ramzi Noah and Genevieve were fighting. And then the guy goes, why are they fighting like cat and dog? And the guy is just... <laughs> No, what I'm saying is that let's look at <laughs> movies. I making a case for scoring of movies. And, and when you have to score a movie, you need to most of the time I say I say an orchestra is most of the time some people use the synthetic and we go on the system and all of that. But then I see I see movies, Hollywood movies, I see orchestra scoring movies and all that. Let's music movies, how much I don't know, is it like um, how can we a classical music musicians, how can we ensure or find a way to make sure that at least we have good musical scores for our locally made movies mm. you know is it something that is it something you can go tell the director and say look man let's not you don't need to use a uh, whiz boy for this track mm. i know whiz boy can just be singing you know how can we help our movies get better by having better scores for um uh, for our movies first and foremost we need to go to the executive producers who are in charge of budgeting and analysis the uh, the directors eventually they they know exactly what to do but a lot of times it's about the budget mm -hmm. the budget is not enough they never push for it um in fairness to nollywood um we are you know a very young nation and 10 20 years down the line i'm sure we'll be creating budgets i mean huge budgets for this kind of movies and of course um it's a good thing also that uh, Campus Classicals is grooming these great and aspiring musicians. Mm. Uh, someday when we begin to produce, even though we are, very epic movies about our culture, we will have the music to that effect. Mm. They know whom to come to. They mm. know the individuals to go to. But they choose not to. A lot of times they choose not to. A lot of times it's the budget. A lot of times is the music has to, I mean, the, the movie has to come out in two weeks and we must begin to see sales mm. at Upper Iweka Road in two weeks <laughs> at Indumota. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Wow, we just have so, to round wow. up that. But then I would also give a very big shout out to Kulia for uh, the new movie, the CEO oh, that's coming yes. out. I saw, oh, yes. I saw clips on Instagram. Epic. You know, and that was where, I mean, 
You have to. I mean, come on, come on. Let's. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're it is, getting it there. is coming. Okay, Somebody so, has initiated it. It's coming. It's coming. It's okay, coming. so let's round up with this. What are the prize? The prize money. Was it like? What do they start to win? Let's round up with that, and then how to keep in touch with or uh, keep in contact with you guys, and then the dates for the competition. Mm -hmm. All right. The the prize money beginning with the prize money. The prize money for the overall winner is five million naira. For the people, that's a lot. That's, um, for the school, no, for the winning school. <laughs> that's not fair. Right? That's, that's not fair. That's fair. That's exactly what no. I said earlier. It, it, that's not fair. What does the individual gain? What What does the person that won the competition gain? No, we let's get this clear. Okay. Five million naira for winning school. Okay. okay. I've also said that there are going to be discovery of exceptional performance, mm. and so there the money goes to them directly. But we're not looking at just giving money this is a developmental process mm -hmm. we're looking at what happens at the end and so we have concentrated that to be scholarship we we give scholarship awards to exceptional performance to take care of um, the studies of that individual for the period while he or she is in school mm -hmm. great and so now the the prize money is is not just about taking the money is also ensuring that the school invests that money in the training of of the students and the musical and the musical. So it's, it's a case of winning for everybody. Mm. That is another mm. direction. Wonderful. Yes. Enjoy the As school. A new the the dates, please. Musical. Yeah, the date is in perfect, June. The date perfect. is in June. June. Mm. Well, the, 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 the event actually is beginning in May. Okay. But it's going to span through to, to June, June, where we shall have the last the the grand final in Lagos. Social media. Okay. How do we keep in touch with um, Campus Clubhouse? Yeah, this Campus Clubhouse, Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Campus Classicas. Right. Twitter at Campus Classicas. Instagram. Instagram, Campus Classicas. It's all Campus Classicas, all Wonderful. our social media platforms. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Uncle Ben. Thank you very Thank much. You. I said it's been great having you on the show. Thank you. Very of course, much. we have a second sit down. Before that, of course, it's entertainment news, it's bloggers, and it's keeping scores. A fool at 40 is a fool forever. Hey. Then, I have a wonderful young man here. If um, When I get to 40 and I, I have achieved half of what he has achieved, I'll be very happy. He, this, this guy has... But uh, some people call... They say they... Some people say these people, people like that, they make money from fooling themselves. So at times, being a fool at 40 can be making money for you. No, All right? Fool, but then, <laughs> we have one of the... We have one of the of comedy in Nigeria. I would just keep the name. When we get back on the second sit-down, but then we'll have entertainment news coming up next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.